What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we got next disgusting kick streamers finally banned. Uh, titles pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, two days into my birthday, June fourteenth. Yeah. Um, turning 19, yeah, I'm a youngin, but I'm a, oh, so, <sighs> I'm an old for real, though. Well, that being said, let's get started with the video. Did heinous crimes against humanity, ultimately endangering the lives of everyone around them. If they aren't streaming themselves harassing people in public or telling people to jump in water knowing that they can't swim, Nick over there are flat out just committing crimes. And this time we have D-list streamers Zerka and Hill Mike running around cosplaying as Diddy and Epstein. Now I'm gonna get into it, but the Cosplaying as who? Nick the cosplaying as who? Him. Creatures need to be exiled, stoned, thrown in the brazen bowl, and then have all their oxygen from their lungs removed so that someone else can breathe it. Now, if you don't know who these two creatures are, essentially these two schmucks are oilless red pill content creators who run around objectifying women for their 16 year old audience who think shit like this is cool. Now, I've only come across these two via gross clips of them hanging around a bunch of women who are clearly only there to siphon money out of them and to cross promote their OnlyFans to an audience of minors, which is a clear indication of what type of people that we're dealing with here. And for whatever reason, if you don't like the stuff they do and try to call them out on it they will just default to spamming the f slur and say oh you're mad you don't get more b than me chat laugh at this lose they get zero pussy <laughs> okay dirty dick keep on and i'm going demons but let's check back in and i don't know two months to see which one of us has every std known to mankind and fun fact while we're here um hill mike's leprechaun looking at even went as far as to get hit on his first stream over on kick two years ago and zerka has been banned multiple times for a surprise surprise pedal jokes on stream i was in grade nine and you were like this <laughs> coming out <laughs> Only one minute and 24 seconds into the video. Get this nigga out of here. Get, get this motherfucker out of here. Ain't no way. Yeah. <laughs> You're hotter. <laughs> I wish some of y'all would put a blindfold on and walk out in the middle of the street. Why Why was this guy not permabanned already? Kick, what the fuck are you niggas even doing over there, gang? Come on. Snap, snap. Clean this shit up. But with that brief little context, let's jump into present day because uh, these creatures have got to go. So last night at the time of this recording, these two were running around the streets of LA doing their normal red pill woman objectifying soft prawn streams over on kick. There is literally no other way to describe their content that is, that is the best I can do. Anyways, they were gathering a harem of women into what's gotta be the biggest foreshadow of all time. Uh, they were calling their little Airbnb sex dungeon spot, um, Heels Island. That name remind you of anything? Go easy on the young ones, my man. Now, quick little disclaimer and major spoiler, um, the stream was deleted because these freaky frogs actually got banned. Actually, major fucking I, I didn't think they had it in them. So I will say I do not have full context and couldn't see everything go down for myself like I usually always try to do. But the clips that Twitter has provided us gives us more than enough information that we need. And speaking of clips, they're going to be censored to the best of my ability because we do not know the actual age of this girl yet. And if it comes out that she is a minor, I am not trying to catch a content strike. So if you guys want the full clips, I'll link all of that down below. But back to the two perverts here. Somewhere along the night, they picked up some woman who claimed to be of age and even went as far as to give up some fake IDs. Which then led these two freak bulls to give off some of the creepiest riz known to mankind. This girl is the single-handed reason I got evicted. I still can't. I, I got evicted. I got evicted out of my Sunny Isles house. Oh. So go be cool. Monday.com is the ideal platform. What is with y'all motherfuckers? Like, seriously. Ew. Come on, bro. That's that weird shit now. Be quiet. She goes... Ah! Ew, yo, that big for nothing wigger Zerka is three times shorty size. They're falling over and trampling her while trying to get some smooches in. Yeah, nah, dummy. 500 lashings and pour salt over the wounds afterwards. He need, he need to go. Doing all this horn dog activity while on stream to a chat filled with red pill incel losers and 16 year olds is red flag number one. But let's keep going because there's clips of the two of them acknowledging that the woman Zerka's rising up is under the age of 21. Meanwhile, both of them are 29 and 30. W Eddie, we got $3,000 to gamble tonight. Let's go. <gasps> Can I gamble? Like 
to know. You can't do anything if you're not 21. The only way you can gamble is if you Let's stay in the night. What do you mean by that? Now, 21 and 30 is definitely legal, but my thought is, what in the hell do you two have in common in the first place? When you were graduating freaking fraud college, she was learning how to move X to the other side of the equation. Red flag number two. Anyway, some time goes by, they end up at Hills Island, and this man is down there trying to play hide the eggplant with clothes on. Now, I will say, it does seem like Zerka genuinely does not know what the hell is going on and that this might be a minor. I personally think he was too coked out of his mind to comprehend anything past getting his balls played with. But then again, this dude is notorious for pro jokes and just being a fucking loser. My name is John Zerka, prolific, notorious pedophile out here. What did he say? He said prolific what? See, this is shit that's gonna get somebody, get me, the genuine cop, this, this shit right here. Nigga, what? You're a certified what? Certified lover boy? Certified what, 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 what? We need to fuck him up. What, 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 what? We need to do. Ooh, the stomp on this nigga's head. He's a nigga, what? Come on, bro. Weird ass. Boy. Majoring in the minors. Yeah, actually, on second thought, if you look at the clips, the girl clearly does not look anywhere near of age. Rendering the whole, oh, but uh, I, I just didn't know. Excuse absolutely useless. Shardy looks like she stumbled into the wrong venue for junior prom, and here go Tweedledee and Tweedledum pushing all up on her. Yo, can someone please come scoop these two organisms up and put them in the blender? Because it ain't, ain't no way, gang. It's just no possible way. Anyways, while all this is going on, chat is just flying, saying, yo, 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 bro, is that a child that you're slobbering over i mean like i said if you look at shorty she does not look of age in the slightest they then have the pillsbury doughboy from natalie runnels crew go and ask for her real age and then this happens not even trolling i asked you have your id she said oh no i don't i said when's your birthday she said 2005 i said when she said December 1st? No, because I'm used to Canada, and Canada, you can go to 1716. I've never done it, but you can do it. What? You's a freaky ass nigga! Two things off this clip, right? I find it absolutely hilarious that Goosebumps is playing in the background, and this freak bull is scared shitless. <laughs> Look at Big as Hell shivering his timbers, looking like he about to piss his pants. And the bigger, more important thing, um, did this fuck nigga just say, oh, in Canada, you can go as low as 16? Everyone! Yeah, nah, bucko, you need to be executed. You know exactly what the fuck you are. Yo, it's Nax here in the editing chamber, and while editing and listening back to those clips, I did realize that 2005 is actually 18, so all of this is legal right now. But this rabbit hole gets deeper, so just hold on a second. I know there's going to be at least one person that's like, ah, oh, it was illegal. Hey, shut, did you, shut up! Out. Be quiet so you get... X out. Hold your horses, nigga. Back to the rest of the video. But I will say you can see that Zerka is taking this serious and understands the magnitude of what the fuck just happened. I mean, dude is looking like God Hand just spawned right in front of his eyes. Meanwhile, the 29-year-old with the build of a 16-year-old comes in frame and tells them he's not ID checking shit. He don't give a flying fuck. You're a f***ing ass nigga, bro. We're not ID checking. Uh, the f is this what the f***? Is this nigga serious? Lock his f***ing Yeah, now we might need to put this man in front of the firing range. I don't know how. Whoa. They end up ID checking the girl, and I know it's hard to read, but it looks like 1201 1990 something, which is 24 years old minimum. But wait a second here. You can't do anything if you're not 24. How the f are you under 21, but the ID says 24? There's no way out of this one. Someone's lying. Yo, where the f are this girl's parents at? How does she even get out the house if you're 16? What the f? How? These two perverted gremlins are 29 and 30, rising up alleged minors. Like, what are you, what are we doing here? And like I said multiple times, she does not look of age at all. They need to be sealed 50 meters under the sea. Like, send these creatures to impel down, gang. Matter of fact, that I need these two. No. Fuck impel down. Fuck whatever you're talking about. These niggas need to be down centered to the depths of hell. Reincarnated into butterflies, crushed, reincarnated again into the motherfucking maggots, get ate up by a damn snake. In a hundred thousand lashes, a hundred thousand billion gazillion years with Saitama. Without the Tama, just say, you know, you know who I'm talking about. Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. To see the incomprehensible horrors of hell, nigga. Send them so far down that the fires start turning blue. Actually black. But as you can see, the two co kids got swindled by the alleged 16 year old yet again. And Zerka celebrated in the only way his freak ass knew how to. But chat knew that something wasn't adding up here. So they 
docs what we believe is the girl and if this is true she hasn't even graduated high school yet this woman just might be 16 years old chad even went as far as to finding the girl's dad and asking him too you're done but flash forward to what i can only assume is after all the dust settled and i guess the coke wore off and started leaving dude system because zerka started puking his brains out at the realization that he was tonguing down someone who very well might be half of his age you know in a sick way i feel like all of his pedal jokes served as a foreshadow of what he was going to do and as for hill mike remember he didn't care to id the woman in the first place. Zerka might be bad, but this dude is even worse in my opinion. Because after all was said and done, he had this to say. Nigga, they on my stream. I'm give a fuck. Why? 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 They don't look up age either. But why? When we say it, motherfucker, but when we say it, never mind. Fake ID? Good. Good. I didn't even know they made those. They even, who gives a fuck you? Are losers? Yourself. You fucking queer losers. Nigga, who cares if she's underage? Yeah, not guards. Get them. And side note, non blacks really be thinking they cooking when they're saying nigga. Like, it, sound, it sounds so forced when a white boy say nigga. <laughs> Especially this guy. Nigga, who cares? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this man goes around any hood saying what he just said, and he is going to end up on several t shirts. But if that wasn't enough, dude ended stream, seemingly slept with one of the girls, and then posted a picture in his Discord saying zero regrets. Yeah, nah, I don't, I don't think that my normal torture methods are going to put a scratch on this guy. He needs to be sapped of all his life force and then dials with Scarlet Rock for all eternity. This wig is going to burn right next to Epstein, I swear. And Zerka ain't no better either. He's over on Twitter posting like nothing happened. He's saying, oh, what's the age of consent in Palestine when faced with what he did? Shut the f*** up, nigga. For once. Yo, if someone don't grab that big brolic ass nigga by his meaty neck and dangle him over top some hungry alligators, he need to be taught a lesson. Oh, wait, he already has. This meathead was talking so much that he got his kicked a few months ago by the British streamer HS Tiki Taki. And I mean, good on him for slapping that coke head up, but holy shit, nigga, do you have the worst name I have ever seen for content? You could have chose anything in this world, but you decided to pick some shit that reads like ancient text. This nigga got a poneglyph for his name. I'll be the first one to admit it, my original Twitch name was absolutely terrible and damn near unpronounceable. But HS Tiki Taki, you know, that sounds like some side character from a Dr. Seuss book. Anyways, like I said, HS manhandled the fuck out of dude, all while being literally half of Zerg size and being caught off guard so not only is this zirka f nigga a pedal beater but we also now know that when he and hill mike ends up in jail he will not be able to fight off niggas for coming to take his little booty hole they gonna snatch that little shit buddy oh and i almost forgot hill mike also got jumped shortly after by what streets are saying are hs's goons uh-oh these guys are up to no good uh, it seems like we have a little problem here, don't we? The fuck out of here. <laughs> but thankfully, Kick did end up seemingly permabanning these two stains of the earth. But with so many occurrences of predatory streamers popping up over on that site, I would not be surprised if by next week, we don't see someone else doing something just as egregious. And obviously, I hope that never happens, but it is the sad reality that we do live in. And this is not me saying that everybody is like that, but when you have so many rotten apples on the tree, the whole tree smells like shit. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, Now they're on Twitter trying to say, oh, yeah, she lied. He's out. Nigga, you f still kissed him. You're fucking going to jail. And hopefully someone will put some honey buns on their bed when they're not looking. <laughs> You're done. But in the meantime, I'm going to go rinse my eyes after what I just saw. Like, y'all niggas wrong, my son. Oh, my. Oh, my whole. Ugh. But yeah, that's the end of the video. But what the f Ew. Y'all some weird ass people, ain't it? Let's look at these comments. Kick streamers tr not to be criminals challenge impossible. Exactly. Them getting banned is a win for all of humanity. Most deaf. Take notes, YouTube. Ban your criminals. Amen. Amen. But anyways, it's your boy OGT Main signing out. Yiddy.